So the first shed is the clubhouse. The second shed is for the carts. Pretty basic. Here's a quick look at the map here. Pretty small, 4,500 yard course. We'll play it anyway. Yard, Blue Heron, it's about as old school as you can get. Take a quick look around front. All right, so this is number one at Blue Heron. We are playing this first tee shot right down the side of Stevensonville Road over there, Route 8. All right, so the first one, my very first swing, I literally tipped the ball so lightly, it rolled about six inches to the left. So it's not quite as long as the second shot, but still, you know, a 100-yard shot in, 110-yard shot in on the second shot is not too bad. This, so we have a 290, 320 from the backs, I guess. It's probably 350 from the blues. It's definitely not a bad-looking course for a little short course. All right, this is not a bad-looking little course. Um, I see a 150-yard marker in front to that green. All right, so this is what we have here. It's inside the 150 or just at the 150. All right, it's a 190 par 3, and I'm purposely shooting so you can see the houses right next to the tee box. But there you go, straight away. Somewhere over here, uh, just short, maybe 20 yards short of the green and right. It's about 110, 115 from the back blues on number four. So this is number five, which is 300 or some so from the back tees. And that is, yeah, dog left. Um, all right, so this plays around that lake, basically. So there's a creek that runs across it. There's a marker there. All right, so I'm plus one, plus one, plus two, plus two for plus six after four. And we're back here behind these damn trees we have to cross that still back here back 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 let's go i'm back here in the middle of the fairway for the next hole over uh so we are up here on the green i did indeed see a blue heron go over that while i was teeing off on number five and we're up here just played through the sand trap so uh another par three down to that one we got a lake to the left of it down there that is saying 150 from the back tees, number six. Also, I know there's a lake behind that too because we just played around that lake. Okay, so we're looking from here, that par three straight out there, and that is about a 175 yard par three according to the sticks here uh, on the sheet, sorry, on the front of the post, and that's number seven. Crap, probably one of the worst good four irons. We're in Bernard, went all the way up the fairway, Roll to within five feet of the pin. How do you like that? For eight there, par three looks like and we'll be going across another bit of creek. That's a guy cutting his lawn there to my left. Next to the house where the lady was blowing her leaves in the backyard. So it's 175, I guess. All right, no way around this. That's not good. We're between those two trees to the left. Got to pitch up over that sand trap onto that green, but at least we're going parallel to the water. Good. So this par four is two, 250 roughly from the back tees. Straight away where that... Uh, tree is back there, the light colored tree. The green is right next to a creek, just in front of a creek. So, but we are at the top of the rise at the very last of those big um, green trees with that. So hopefully we'll have a decent shot to the green. All right, so we are back here just through the tree line at this stupid tree in a way. So here we are, it's like 4,500. So this is going to be straightforward, par four probably. You know what that is. It's got a lake there. 336 in the back tees, par 4. This is number 10, though. Over that uh, lake to the green. Right along the car path here, and then came down and went just right in the corner there. Now we got a chip on here, and that'll be for... So what is 12? 12 is a 118, 125, par 3 from the backs. That's still in play. That would be lucky. It hit right there on top where that fence post is at the top of the hill and rolled down. So I don't know if it had any chance to stop before it went in. We are now playing this number 11, 150 par three from the back. There's no creek, just a bunch of sand out there. But the lake to the left shouldn't be in play. And the battery on my phone uh, went dead and my charger went dead too also. Um, a power nightmare at this point. <laughs> I think it, right after, uh, maybe after this hole, I just lost power for quite a while. 13 green here. 275 from the back tees, par four. So this is the tee box in 14. I guess it's a par, f I guess, I'm not sure what it is, but can't be much more than par four. So about 300 probably. There's, I see the one on your yard marker. 
There's like a triple green up there. That's the weird thing about it. All right, at the fairway at 14, you are hitting from the fairway out here. This is about 80 yards over this lake to the center, the center of the greens. And let's wrap this up real quick. So this is the back of Blue Heron Golf Course. This is number 18. And we are looking back 18 across the lake there to 17. On the right there is number 10. So it's a little bit goofy on the back, but uh, not bad at all. It's actually a pretty nice course. I actually like the course. It's pretty nice. And a steal for 15 bucks. The only problem is I had to drive across the Bay Bridge, which is 6 bucks. So it really turns out to be about $20, $23, by the time you get a drink and everything. But still, that's pretty, pretty damn good. That is a steal. This course is actually not bad at all. I would definitely play it again. Definitely recommend it. There's a fair, a pretty good amount of water on the back. There's some water in the front, so definitely not, you know, too easy. It's not long, 40, 40 500 yards, and what that means is your tee shots are, all, I mean, your shots are all 300 yards and shorter, as opposed to 450 for the par fours or 300 for the par fours at the most, 250, 250, 300. Other than that, definitely a good challenge, definitely a good course, definitely highly recommend it.